Hello, Flame community. This is Jeff Kyle with the Flame Learning Channel, and I'm incredibly excited to share with you all what's new in the latest release, Flame 2025. Starting out in batch, say hello to the brand new Match Grain node that's taking grain management in Flame to the next level. It is incredibly simple to use, simplifying the add subtract grain workflow and combining a number of grain processes all into one node. But the real standout feature is the dispersion. After you've analyzed, you're one click away from tiling the grain throughout the image to create a new grain pattern wherever you need it. If you've ever had to do this manually before, you know what a game changer this is. Continuing inside of Batch, we have another new node. This time it's a reworking of an existing node, and that's Lens Distortion. With a handful of reworked controls for working with lens distortion grids, detecting lines in an image, or drawing your own splines, combined with the ability to export undistort and redistort ST maps, compensating for lens distortion has never been easier. But whether you're calculating lens distortion yourself or receiving lens distortion data from elsewhere, we also have a brand new ST map node that allows us to handle a number of different lens distortion scenarios with incredible ease. Jumping into the timeline, Flame 2025 introduces a smattering of quality of life improvements and highly requested user feedback to significantly improve how we stay organized when we're working through the never-ending list of timelines. Between changes to the way clips are ordered, to new abilities to view and export open sequence tabs, these changes are sure to speed up anyone working in the timeline. Flame 2025 also introduces the notion of centralized components, which gives system administrators new ways to deploy shared presets, Python scripts, and other components across different workstations. This, combined with giving us new preset functionality to areas of Flame that didn't use presets before, makes for some fantastic efficiencies with how we share different components across a facility. And finally, the user system has been completely reworked. Flame users are now version agnostic, and our user preferences, presets, and keyboard shortcuts will carry over to all future versions of Flame. Plus, there's a new interface for importing and exporting users, allowing us to transfer user settings from one facility to another with the click of a button. If you like these videos and you're finding them helpful, please subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel and click the bell to stay notified about new content. Feel free to comment any questions or suggestions below. Until next time, thanks a bunch for watching.